Alright, what's up YouTube? King Monye. Checking in. When I was at uh, Solano Prison. Solano State Prison, California. 2020. Uh, B-Yard. I remember this incident that happened where it was this dude from uh, Bakersfield Crib. I think uh, from like he was from uh, Eastside Stroller Boys. Or was he Spoonie G? Nah, he probably Spoonie G. He signed Spoonie G, right? Uh, Tay Tay. He was with it and that shit. Uh, but uh, he I got caught up in another man. He was hanging out with these dudes from uh, the Bay. The dude from the Bay name was uh, June. Hanging out with this dude from, from the Bay and uh, for whatever reason. But June had borrowed a cell phone one time. She borrowed the cell phone from a Mexican to use overnight or something like that. Well, he used the cell phone, and he decides he's about to punk the Mexican and steal it. So he go toss the phone to Tay-Tay, you know, and now Tay-Tay was unaware, unaware of the movie he's making. Some people say he was aware. He knew what uh, June was trying to do. June was trying to steal the phone, but others say, you know, he didn't know. He was just holding it for him. But however, whatever happened, uh, it comes to the point where... It's time to get a phone back. The Mexican go to June and say, Where my phone at? June say some shit like, oh, I got caught with it. I flushed it. The police was coming. I had to flush it. Not knowing that the Mexican had a, a, a tracker on that app or something like that where it showed that, nah, the phone is still here in this building. My, my phone is still here in this building. Somebody is still here, right? Got my phone. I need my phone back. And so he telling June that June like, well, you know what I'm saying? Shit, I ain't got it. So then the Mexican go tell June's homies or something like that. Somehow um, they end up pressing on June and June tells them some, something like he tossed it to Tay-Tay. <laughs> Tay-Tay somehow gets in the mix and gets accused of uh, trying to steal the Mexican's phone. Tay Tay comes out to sale, you know what I'm saying, tries to address it, and his homies, for some reason, uh, the Crips removed him off the yard, beat him up, boom, bam, boom, bam, boom, and removed him off the yard for something that Tay Tay did. No, no, excuse me, for something that June did. And so, June. Didn't clear it up or nothing like that. He ends up just sneaking off and rolling up off the yard, coming to the hall and making it seem like somebody dropped a kite on him. And that, uh, you know what I'm saying, somebody was snitching on him and they told him that he was, that they rode a kite saying he was in danger, so he had to come to the hall. I don't know if that's the truth, but it sounded kind of funny. But this, I'm telling this story because I want to I want to point some, some points out. So in prison, you got guys who do business with other races right borrowing phones and stuff like that but the way the prison has gone now from what i've seen the places i've been uh you got janky moves like this happening you got people trying to steal right from other races or other organizations disregarding the rules you know disregarding uh all all structure you know you when you have drugs in the mix people using drugs People out, not in their right mind. People get shysty, like just like on the streets. They gonna try everything, especially when there's no real structure, no, there's no discipline, there's no real consequence between, you know, the different groups. People will do whatever. So for like the dude from the bay, he did that. He, he you know, this was the, the general opinion was he tried, he still he stole, he stole the Mexican's phone, tried to steal it, and then did some janky shit and tossed it to uh, his homeboy. His homeboy tried to be solid and not give it up and ended up taking the responsibility for it and ended up getting boob up and removed off the yard for it. Jailhouse thievery, right? So, what do you think was Tay Tay's response? You know, when he seen June in the hole and stuff and he seen he had just got beat up, removed for something that he did. 
They don't have the phone, but now they're known as trying to steal, right? You would think he would disassociate himself from June, right? He would stop messing with him. He would, you know what I'm saying, tell him, like, you know, you did some janky shit. Unless he was in on it. Unless they was both in on it. And so the common opinion was, the common opinion was that they both was in on it. You know, and that they both tried to do some stealing. And so that they some jailhouse thieves. I don't know what ever happened to them after that. I know they moved prisons, but you got to be careful who you socialize with, who you associate with. They, they say this saying, uh, guilt by association, and it's so true, uh, even in prison, you know, even in prison. First of all, he, he, I, I, he did a janky move. He was trying to steal the phone. They was both in on it, right? You know what I'm saying? I think... Tay Tay underestimated his homies, even though he's a rider and stuff like that. Uh, for some reason, the Crips wasn't going for it, you know, and they got, they removed that dude up off the yard. That's how it go. You can't just think you're going to do whatever you want. You know, King Mon Gay, I tell these good old stories, man. Go ahead and click the subscribe button. Go ahead and comment. Hit the like. That little thumb right there. Put the thumb up. Thank you. And I'm on. I'm gone. <laughs>